सिस्टम है खोलेंगे असलम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू मेक ऑन टाइमर इन एफ सी ब्लॉक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल मेक इट वन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंड देन दिस नेम वी विल गेम एफ सी बी एल सी के ब्लॉक विद टाइमर विद फंक्शन एफ आई टाइमर विद एफ सी एफ सी ब्लॉक बी एल सी के एंड देन क्रेट then create and then online and diagnostic then go to the accessible devices and then start search then show here we first at new device over which plc we have we select here which model i have this cpu 1215c tc dc relay and this article number and this click okay and when you got that interface how this page is open after you can select also here your extension modules also you can put at this in in rack also which your cpu and which also this here is a one bd you can uh, you can set it here you search from here this is all your cpu signal boards communication boards battery boards da digital input boards dq diq dq ai analog input communication modules technology whatever you yani, need this is i have one more extension module that in signal board this is called any yani signal board and then is the, what is the this is the temperature module which i is in my cpu this i have e11 rtd yani, and this is article number and this i take and i can it drop it here and now this also is selected in my this plc and then you can click download your plc and this communication board will be downloaded to the plc and after you have to be check mark this one first type of pg interface yani how can you put yani this search and after which is your programmer this i have family real controller then then start search it will be find it here yani here he shows the device type and here he shows the ethernet address and plc one and then click it load continue stop all hmm. then again download hmm. then click finish now your device is ready to make program inside whatever you like to make in this video we are making now for for on delay time with function block and what's the first step first of all we have to be add our new block yani any block like you to make you can make but in this lecture we are using that function block and also you have you can give it here name yani what program you like to make so you can give the name i give the name timer timer on delay 
on the value is on the leaf and then click ok now you have to be first make it here give data any which which data you like to put in this uh, block first he asking for input input what he likes to give any I for example I start my timer with I0.0 .0. I will give address start 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 for I0.0 .0. and I used one one output and output is asking what you need for an output I say wait. I say uh, for example anything any can motor or whatever you like to own I say motor motor number one I put any this I make output and uh, motor and here in out he asking in out what you see one second yes in this block firstly we oh. use our that uh, we put that start and this we use our motor one and in out here we gives the data for our I think here we put set uh, set value set value time set value set time value put a set time value set time value and here I give this data must be give in double word because of any time you can show in double word data register can't show in and next first we use it here our one input and one input and here I take one timer one timer timer on delay on delay and here I get what's I give now what we give it here start the start push button is for my timer on and my output is what motor one and here I time choose from set time in double word and here you uh, have to be like to show the time here in value here you can go at in output also you can set output here you can right click and insert row and here we can give mm, time display time time display display time display and this also you can give here d word for showing this data yeah. and this we will first download the program to the PLC oh sorry this is and secondly we go to the main OB and after we can our this timer on delay track here here he asking where you like to start I say I 0 dot 0 is our input 
and here set time value you say which data register you like to show I say MD 0 I like to show the data register and here for time display he is asking which data register you node MD 10 MD 10 and he is asking for motor which coil you have to be started so I say Q 0 dot 0 and now this small program is ready and this I make it complete download to the PLC and load again now our stream is ready and make it simulation on see when you make that timer in function block your timer on delay which block do you made this also you can see in the interface and here I will set that data for think about this is from HMI or what where you SCADA from use this you have to I put it here 4000 milliseconds and here also you like to display the format in decimal you can put it here decimal and this area also you like to see in the display format in decimal we have to put this decimal in decimal it will be show in decimal you have to see the display first of all I give my signal from my I0.0 .0 input and see see this Q0.0 is on at MD10 data register is time display why not show in our PLC it was to go back to our program and we can check here why this data register is not showing go to the main of the oh, sorry this <coughs> here we not define our data register because of you not show the time here you have to be define this out value time display in double word you have to be show it here and then you can't go direct to the download you have to be go in main op and there I think so it will be okay go again download to the PLC make it simulation on and now you can see when your timer is on your time will be displayed at the output this data you can take at the HMI or SCADA and this data also you can take all data you can take but this is the main display format and uh, you can see at the HMI or SCADA see this I0.0 when on and it's after time it will be go to and in this condition if uh, your power supply is gone gone your data will be not stored I think so see this is go to the zero and if you like to store this data you have to first go there in uh, new block and here you make data block and when you go to data block and make it ok and here you have to give the name which data you like to be stored I put it here retain time value retain value and here you give double word data and here you have to 
show retain if you put it here non not uncheck this data will be unretain you have to put must be tell him retain and after this data block you have to be show it here show it show it here this data block time retain value you to show here and you have to be go to the download again download and make it simulation on and we will write from the HMI this area in decimal and 4000 and now we go to the get on see when our time will be up your motor will be on that motor one and in this meantime if your power supply will be gone will be gone your time will be not erased this data will be completely saved how many times power go come back this timers so why is used in the plc some safety purposes because of some safeties have need to be look time somewhere have need to be delete somewhere have to be no delete you you can set inside the program retain or non retain i think so in this video you completely understand about the function block how we can make the function block in Siemens VLC 7 Baraso with TIA portal. If you not understand anything, you can send me a message in comment section or email me. I will be try to send feedback as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.